Gaziantep, known as Turkey's gastronomical capital, where you will find the world's finest pistachios, beautiful artisan-made coffee work, and from our experience, the most hospitable <laughs> So we still got the coffee, we just had it in a barbershop. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's happening tomorrow, but we were invited to be his guest tomorrow at noon. <laughs> They're fun. They're fun. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Juice Life. We are in Antep. It is rainy. Last we left you, we were with our friend Sally. We got to enjoy life at the village home. If you guys missed... Oh, chai? Yvette? Apparently chai is ready and we can go get it which is super intimidating. It's like this double fisting action, which I just don't trust my right hand. That's good. Yeah, just a little spill. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so hard to do. All right, so Antep is known to be the culinary food capital of Turkey. Uh, when I was looking for a place to stay, I actually found this place, which is like an old accommodation, over a hundred years old, I think and uh, they serve breakfast. All the reviews said that the breakfast here was really tasty, which is very important. Excited to give it a try. We got all these like jams and cheeses and oils and spices. We ordered some menamen. Looks so good. She just brought out the minimum, which is like tomatoes and eggs. There's peppers in it. And then she also brought us out breakfast dessert. So excited. This is amazing. We get this for three mornings in a row. How cool is that? It's amazing. <laughs> that breakfast was so good. I'm so full. Now we're gonna go walk around the city, take all the sights in. But first, look at this courtyard that you have found us. Our room's right up there. Quick room tour. It'll be as quick as Amy opens the door. All right, babe. I'm not very good at opening doors. Can you lock? Why did you do that? <laughs> Some video you can watch it later. <laughs> Crushed it. Welcome to our little castle. We have two beds, which is just so fun when you have like your backpacks and stuff. So you have like a bed you can lay stuff out on and then a bed you can sleep in. This cool little stained glass look up there. How pretty is this room? The ceilings in this place are so high. It really feels so luxurious. This was the cheapest place you have could find here. Not the cheapest, is that a lie? There were some cheap ones that were really dingy. I'm just getting a lot of this from behind the camera. This was the cheapest good. Good option. Good option. Okay, that, that's totally fine. <laughs> and then we have this beautiful, huge modern bathroom, a nice warming towel rack, huge shower. Not bad. Excuse our trash from just our Kunafe last night. We got into the city a little late, had to get a little Kunafe. All right, so as good as Cavalta was, it was missing one thing, and that one thing you guessed right, it's coffee. So we're gonna go find some coffee. Oh no! Kind of bummer. I, you can't even do takeaway coffee. So, if you remember our vlog in Istanbul, we were saying that the new restrictions and measures uh, are that there's a weekend curfew and also restaurant restrictions. We weren't sure if the restaurant restrictions only apply to the weekends, which is kind of what a lot of people were assuming and thinking. But apparently, it's like all every day, all the time. Restaurants and cafes are takeaway only, and some of them don't do takeaway either, which is kind of strange. Uh, they're open. They're not really open. I think it's just like the owners and their friends having a chai in the back, yeah. staying warm because it's cold and rainy and they have no work to do. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of restaurants are closed. And this is like... This is the food gastronomical ah! capital of Turkey, which is such a bummer. There's like soups and different like stews that I wanted to try here and I don't know if we'll be able to. My friend, we might have to come Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee. Yeah, yeah. Maybe 
maybe telling you guys that everything is closed made this guy hook us up. We might be getting some Turkish coffee. Going to the back alley. Going to the hairdresser. Sugar, no sugar. Uh, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Little, little sugar. I'll shake it. Ah, I guess we're having coffee at a barber shop. Too bad I already got a haircut. But. Too bad. As we said, there's restaurant restrictions, so they can't let you sit inside a restaurant and have a coffee. But I think they're gonna let us sit inside this barber shop and have some coffee. <laughs> because you can be in a barber shop. But Between 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. you can be in a barber shop. So barber shop is the new coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> coffee right there what a guy <laughs> yev asked him with google translate how much we own for coffee and he gave us such a face it was like he got offended i think yeah he did get offended he's like excuse me and then he was like just thank you very much just thank you very much once in a lifetime coffee in a barber shop that was so fun <laughs> that was fun <laughs> that was so fun we asked him if he could find any places where we can have some soup and you know there's like a traditional breakfast style soup here, which is very popular, and he said, nope, it's closed. It was about Everything 50 closed. meters away, and now it's closed. Yeah. That, I think, is actually where our coffee came from. I think so. <laughs> so thank you, Ibrahim, for a delicious cup of coffee. But we are now gonna head over to what I'm hoping is gonna be like the clothing side of the bazaar, because I am in some desperate need for a pair of jeans. I've been wearing one pair of leggings and my green pants every day for the past like four months because it's been cold that was not the plan and they're totally worn out totally worn out also your shoes are worn out yeah <laughs> anyways this is not what the vlog's about but we're <laughs> we're, we're just uh gonna do the bazaar there are a few really cool things about on tab one is all the food but second is the huge markets that are here and it's not just places where you can buy goods you get to see them making them so there's all these different copper shops and you can hear them banging and making the cool designs. There's like leather work and they make shoes. So today we're just going to kind of dodge the rain, walk through the markets, get to see them making all of the things and maybe check out some of the prices because it's so beautiful. Turkey is definitely not an early rising country. So it is just after 11 a.m. and we are walking around and most of the shop owners are just getting set up. And it's kind of sweet. They're all just like having their tea, warming themselves by the fire, starting to make their different things. Yeah, but we're walking down like the alley where all the copper goods are made or sold. You can hear all the banging. You could hear them at work. So cool. It's <laughs> so cool. So if you're on this little back alley with like all the little shops, like people are just making all the goods. And at the end of it, this man behind me, he's actually pinning the copper uh, pots, uh, which I think you, it's like a silver finish on the copper goods. And I think that makes it safe to cook and eat. From what I read, I'm not 100% sure, but some of the copper goods are silver, some are the copper color, and he's actually making them uh, the silver color right now. Super cool. Coming down the semi-sketchy alley, it's totally worth it to see them all making all the different things. It's like every little shop is so cool. I will say it's 
kind of loud walking through these streets. <laughs> All right, guys. We are on a main drag road, but we walked about 35 minutes to find this restaurant because as we mentioned before, almost all the restaurants are closed, but we were like, let's go see. This place is like a fixed set menu. And I don't know if I've ever seen a restaurant that looks more close. There are people inside, but it's very much closed. Um, yeah, they have like a few different tasting menu options or preset menu options, a few different varieties. And I guess they do kind of like a fusion on traditional uh, on Gaziantep cuisine with a little modern flair maybe. Would have been awesome. I was hoping we could do takeaway, you know, that would have been still fun to do takeaway, like different little mezes or something like that, but it is what it is. Uh, Antep is known for pistachios and uh, a lot of the Turkish desserts have pistachios. Either they're just dusted on top or they're like heavy in, uh, inside, so uh, a lot of them are open. So. Maybe we'll have to go get some dessert. Yeah. <laughs> We're walking by this olive market, essentially. And it's more olives than I've ever seen in my entire life in one place. Photo, photo, photo. Photo, photo. Mm. Is that like? Mozalim. Mm -hmm. It's good. Very good. On the TV, she will do the job. Hello, hello, good morning, Sala. Good morning, Sala. Mashallah. Let's try a couple. That last one was like marinated in like lemon, heavy lemon. It was so good. They're fun. They're fun. <laughs> they wanted a picture of themselves and they were getting all silly. And then, <laughs> and then we even got a little selfie with one of them named Mustafa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little dinner appetizer, little olives in the belly. We find that people here are a little more receptive to uh, photos and videos and camera. And it's just kind of fun. It's yeah. kind of fun for people to uh, feel like natural. And you know, I, I don't know. They kind of love it. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> we made some friends. Who's up there? You're not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's happening tomorrow, but we were invited to be his guest tomorrow at noon. We went into his little shop just to like look at his different things that are made of copper and tin. Got talking. He's been to Ukraine a few times. They were talking in Russian, and we said it's sad that the restaurants are closed. And he invited us to be his guest. We don't really know if we're gonna have a meal, if we're eating, if we're going someplace with him, what's going on. But we will be his guest tomorrow. We'll bring you along. He said the camera is more than welcome. At least we think that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's fun. You know, like uh, we're not able to get coffee in a co cafe. We got to have it in, in a barber shop, you know? We're not having, not able to have like restaurant sit down meal. We're gonna have it maybe in a copper smith thing or something else something and maybe I, maybe they'll bring us to like a, you know like a grocery store or something <laughs> <laughs> we are totally loving gazantep even though we can't go into restaurants we'll have to be back we'll have to be back but we need to find some takeout for tonight i think i think we're stuck with uh either desserts like i was saying or uh, another kebab place because that seems to be like the one thing kebab and doner are the things that are easy for takeout quick fast food so we might have to do one of those. This is uh, Chomiet. Chomiet? Yes. Kaima Beach. Oh, Kaima. Yes. Did he give you a recommendation? He did, for sure. I know the place that he's talking about, too. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I saw it on some blogs. It's three money signs, so, you know, a little yeah, oh. you know, it's like... Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll go up and see, see what it's like. And now it's like you have no idea what their version of the takeout situation is going to be. But so cute. The guy at the baklava place came out to show us a little directions to get us to where we're going. Should we see if they have a menu? Maybe. So expensive. All right, so if you look around us, we are in a very fancy restaurant, but they've totally changed everything to just be takeout. So I think it's a limited menu. There's like a, only a few things, and it, it is three money sign, like I said. It's, it's like a little over twice 
two to ten is more expensive than like a regular place. So. Not bad. It's a fancy takeout. Fancy takeout. <laughs> and we came to Untap to experience the, the food. food, and so we have a limited way of experiencing it. So it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, we're gonna do it, guys. We just got baklava down the street, and that's who told us to come here. But they wrap up your baklava if you say you're gonna take it away, like a present, and you feel like you can't like undo it all to snitch it. So we had to save for later. But they just gave us baklava here while we're waiting. We are in the land of pistachios and mm, they do it right. This is amazing. Not too sweet, so nutty. Mm. This place is so pretty. Yeah, rocked it. We were just talking about uh, like success stories with accommodations and non-success stories with accommodations. Prison was a little rough, guys. But for the most part, every place has been wonderful. This is spectacularly beautiful. All right, guys, we made it back to our place. Our step, two side salads, then a huge roll of bread. Full of bread. And then these are our two meals. One meal is meat and some veggies. So this one, I think we were reading, has uh, pistachios, mint, lamb, something else. It seemed exciting. Look at that. Yeah. It's yogurt with meat. Not really sure what else is in it. But we just felt like we had to get something that most other places weren't gonna do takeaway because we went to the fancy place. Oh, look at that. Does this have pistachios in the bottom or is it peppers? That is so tasty. That is so creamy. Ooh, I think it might be made of like goat's milk. Tastes a little goaty. <laughs> it's really tasty though and it's a little spicy. Definitely peppers. Guys, this food is so good. It's a bummer we can't eat out in a restaurant. But if you have to do takeout, I think this is pretty remarkable takeout. We're gonna enjoy this and we'll see you guys in the morning for another day exploring a little bit more of Antep. This is actually like a, a physical feat examination this morning. Can you pour the excessively heavy pot of boiling water? And then a bit, oh, it's burping. Got these cool colored lights up there, not lights. Interesting glass. I'm really bad at room tours. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you want me to know? Got Turkish what's it called? Let's just go. Let's just go. Turkish cabal to practice. No, I was gonna say that. So we have to make a spurt. We have <laughs> Ugh! Okay. Museum's tomorrow, right? Museum's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get some coffee. Yeah, yeah. English, bye bye. Bye bye. Ukraine, bye bye. English, English, bye bye. Turkish, güle güle. Güle güle. Güle güle. Turkish. Güle güle. Güle güle. Güle güle. Yes. What's his name? Don't do that. Don't put me on the spot like that. I lost it. I'll cut. I'll cut. I'll cut it out of the video. The guy at the baklava face. The guy at the baklava face. The guy with the baklava face. The baklava face. That'd be so yummy. Place, right? Yes. Good, 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 your hand's gonna kill me. I was gonna say something. Oh, I was gonna say something. Your eyes are beautiful. Aw, thanks, babe. Hold on. I'll do you one better. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. Oh, for you, Romeo, I will. I don't know what Rapunzel's boyfriend's name is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, <laughs> when you watch our vlogs, you don't get like. 100% true facts all the time, you know? <laughs> this is us in real life. Uh, hashtag uh, not cool never was. <laughs> hashtag not cool never was. <laughs> but we have fun. Welcome to our crib, guys. 